stood behind me on this outer Belfast hill is a mast that many of you will recognise thanks to its multiple appearances on this channel, which have resulted because of its astronomical 4G performance, with this mast delivering up to about 950 megabit 4G on EE thanks to 5-way downlink carrier aggregation and 4x4 MIMO. It's also just a very nice location up here as well. But 950 megabit 4G wasn't enough for EE and actually this site has had N78 so C-band 5G for a while as well. However, in the past weeks this site also started broadcasting 5G on 700 megahertz as well as DSS 4G plus 5G on 2100 megahertz. So you can see the 700 megahertz 5G in action here, working alongside the five downlink LTE carriers, which are all aggregated together. We're a little bit between sectors in this position, but the aggregated performance is still doing about 700 megabits per second. The device is now using 2100 megahertz as its 5G layer and as a result we only have four 4G carriers on the downlink on, on the 4G side of things because the device is using the 2100 megahertz as 5G and not as 4G. Performance is also very good achieving about upper 500 to 600 megabit per second territory where I'm stood now but once again we are a bit between sectors in this position. For those curious this is what it looks like with N78 C-band. This site doesn't have two N78 carriers on it yet but we have 40 megahertz N78 plus the five 4G carriers and throughput is anywhere from about 800 megabit per second to actually I've seen um, over a thousand um, in slightly better conditions off this site. But this site is not the only one in Belfast to get exciting upgrades in the form of NR on 2100 megahertz and 700 megahertz. The rooftop mast behind me is one of the other Belfast sites which has NR on 2100 megahertz and 700 megahertz. However, unlike the hilltop site, these are this site's only NR bands for EE. In other words, this does not have 3.5 GHz 5G for EE at this point in time. And also, it does not have 2600 MHz 4G. And therefore, the combinations that I've been seeing on the Mi 11 are either LTE band 3 plus band 3 plus then NR on 2100 MHz or with 700 megahertz and are then having three downlink 4G carriers in the form of 1800, 1800 and 2100. The former configuration delivers around about 300 megabits per second dependent on the exact signal conditions and such, which is entirely reasonable. The latter configuration unsurprisingly performs better thanks to the additional bandwidth of having a further 15 megahertz of 4G downlink and only 5 megahertz less in terms of NR layer downlink. This means that in total there's 10 megahertz more downlink spectrum in the overall ENDC configuration and with that throughputs are generally much better with 400 megabits per second being more common. The other site in Belfast that are found with EE NR on 2100 MHz and 700 MHz are very much like this one behind me in so far as they do not have C-band 5G for EE yet and nor do they have 2600 MHz 4G and therefore actually they perform and act very similarly to this one. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and I hope to see you on the next one.